In my last blog entry, I had a screencast that showed some of the new features of uh, GWT 2.5's uh, Super Dev Mode, and specifically how you can use it in tandem with uh, Chrome's development uh, tools environment to actually view your Java code and actually debug it, uh, which is very powerful, something you previously could not do. Um, for those of you who've used in the past GWT in tandem with uh, Google App Engine or GAE, you probably experience some of the frustrations and you know long development times that it seems to entail when you make changes to your code and then seeing that reflected accordingly in uh, Google App Engine, uh, Google App Engine's local development environment. Uh, but with uh, new Super Dev Mode, it really uh, simplifies the whole uh, code, you know, debug test cycle rather significantly in my opinion and I'm just going to demonstrate that very briefly today. Uh, in the last blog entry I didn't have uh, Maven set up uh, to use with 2.5 uh, GWT. This time however I do I'm not going to really go into the setup of that outside of just pointing out that uh, you know here for instance in my palm I've got uh, you know the new uh, candidate release version specified for 2.5 and then within my uh, within my GWT Maven plugin I've updated that accordingly to the same version and uh, and that's really all I had to do to migrate an existing project over to uh, 2.5 in addition to the changes I talked about last time in the uh, GWT XML file but what I'm going to show is just a very simple uh, you know hello world type uh, page here just to keep things super simple so when I actually run this, that's all it's going to show. And what I plan to do is then uh, go in, make a change, we'll call it Hi World, and then actually see that reflected in the Google App Engine's local development environment without having to you know, restart Google App Engine or anything like that. Uh, so the first thing we actually are going to do as, uh, as part of the new Maven plugin is actually some new, uh, some new uh, Maven tasks that you can run and let me demonstrate what that is to initiate the Google uh, the uh, code server I should say so the first thing we're gonna do is, is start the code server and this is new with uh, the Maven 2.5 plugin so it's a MVN GWT colon run dash code server and this is gonna run the code server in the background similar to what we talked about in the last entry last blog entry and it's there basically looking and compiling uh, the Java side, uh, JavaScript code, you know, in real time. So it, it replaces the previous GWT development environment. So we're going to go ahead and run this, and both of these things are run in the same project uh, environment. So in one window, I'm running the code server, and as you see when that gets started up, it'll show you that. And again, please watch the previous uh, blog entry for how to set it up uh, correctly. So we'll wait here a moment while this gets, uh, I should have set it to offline, but oh well. Um, it's actually going through now and, and compiling. I've got two modules in this particular application that it's going to go through and compile. <clears throat> so it's going to go through that process. Okay, so we've started it here, and in this case, I've got two different uh, two different modules, GWT modules. Uh, if you open that link up, you'll see both the modules and all of the compiled JavaScript code according, accordingly. Don't really need to do that here because we already have it set up. So I'm going to go to this other window, and I'm going to launch the, the Google App Engine environment. And for those of you not that familiar with the Google App Engine, it is the local development environment that simulates how the production environment will run when you ultimately upload that project to Google's App Engine. So it's it's a local development environment and uh, for the most part actually I haven't seen any uh, any discrepancies between how it works and how it works in, uh, in production so that's a very good thing. You don't like surprises there. So we'll wait for this to get fired up. This should be just one moment. Of course I Probably should have started with a more simple project, but would have compiled faster. <clears throat> yeah. 
the nice thing is once we do this, we won't have to restart the Google App Engine to see any of our changes reflected, which is a really powerful feature of this. Okay, so we've got it up and running here under localhost. I'm going to flip over to, uh, to Chrome real quickly here, and we can run this. Find what Chrome is right here. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and actually run this here. And uh, if I go under here under my dev mode and my previous entry talked blog entry talked about setting this up, but basically if I click on that, I can recompile that that particular uh, you know Java side JavaScript. And uh, if we look back over at the window, we could see over here, we didn't see the activity, but it, it went through and, and the uh, code server uh, performed a recompile of that particular page's uh, JavaScript. So now we've got it there, and now let's go back over to Eclipse and make a change, say, from Hello World, which you see here, to something else like Hi World. So we'll go back over to Eclipse. I'm using the UI binder here. We'll just change it to Hi World. We will save that and we'll go back through and just do a quick recompile. It's very fast. Well, maybe not fast, of course, and we're waiting. But voila, you could see the change. And now, talking uh, specifically about the other feature I demonstrated last time, if you go to your um, you know, JavaScript uh, developer tools, you know, you can then see the, uh, if you click there, you can then see the actual Java code that's responsible. Uh, I've got, you know, quite a bit of uh, different Java code here that's unrelated to this, but, uh, you know, you can see all of the, the Java that's responsible for rendering it into JavaScript. So that's uh, today's presentation, just a short one. Hopefully I enjoyed it, and uh, I'll be adding an additional one shortly. Thanks.